Stories matter because without them we can't really understand who we are and our place in the world. Storytelling is what makes us people. It's the one thing I think that is particularly to the most of it is a good story, whether it be a little bit of gossip or a great big epic tale such as Lord of the Rings. With your low ability child that perhaps doesn't get much reading at home, through to the most able child you can write everything under the sun, a story can hook you and actually drive something. Yeah. The great thing about it is it lends itself to an immersive approach and you don't have to just do an hour of storytelling in your day. It can be storytelling throughout the day and everything else just seems to fit into it. Everything slots into a good story. There was a dragon like that. Walking in, just instantly, everywhere, everything is to do with storytelling, isn't it? And it's really comes across that it's the children as well. Just a really welcoming atmosphere and just literacy everywhere, storytelling everywhere. Oh, that's not like Grandma. Oh, 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 grandma. Uh -huh. uh, costumes, yes. what? laughter, fun. Thank you very much. And obviously that put me at ease and made me uneasy at the same time. I am so proud of this school. Then the children came on the stage and I was enthralled. And I thought, yeah, okay, I'm starting to get this. I, 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 something different was happening. And then Pi spoke and I was captured. Linguistic competency, that pattern is laid down inside the mind so that the child can go, we spun a time, a little boy called Gary who lived in Honiton. Early one morning he woke up and the child could tell a story. It's called generative grammar. Start with a warning, don't you dare fool around by the canal or whatever it is. What are they going to do? Go down to the canal. What's going to happen? It's all going to go wrong, Gary's going to fall in. Bananas, bananas, jump, jump, jump. It's lovely to be renewed about what my beliefs were in, in teaching. La, 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 la. And that's all we need to do on that. All about nursery rhymes, which I've been doing for years, and rhymes, and singing, and poetry, and telling stories, and having fun. <laughs> Off an area. I've talked about swords, secret agents, and werewolves. It's a bit risky because you think, basically, five and six think, do I have to ask parents about this? If you do, it's probably a really good idea. That's probably the best way of thinking about it. And of course, most parents will go for it, most of the kids will go for it. They blew me away. Enthusiasm, playfulness, fun, with purpose. And this is why we like the idea of it becoming storytelling throughout the entire curriculum, hence an immersive approach. And that, for me, answers all the questions about where we're going, and it consolidates our journey, and it's the end piece of our jigsaw. The coming here to see the resources and the way it's been put into practice, I think, is really, truly inspirational, actually. It's real. You can see that it works. It's not just somebody stood there saying, oh, you can do this, but actually they've had They've got to juggle the, the same things that we do. Seeing it's possible, yeah. isn't yeah. it? It's <laughs> really yeah. nice. It's almost like it's kind of the magic key that you've been looking for. They're just incredible. And you walk around and all the enthusiasm and excitement. And what's so great about it is that you kind of get what they're getting is that this simple sort of idea that sort of infiltrates everything. Can you, it all works and all comes together. And it's just fabulous, it's amazing. Definitely going to use it. Can't wait. <laughs> Three, two, one. It's just completely inspirational. There's just so many ideas to take back. We started the process, but we're ready to move forward again, and this is just the catalyst to, to go further. I think in this school, they have taken the creative curriculum way beyond um, what most people do. The way in which they are thinking about whole stories that stretch over a year, so a lot of the activities are tied together within this massive 
adventurous narrative um, seems to me to be quite an extraordinary thing to do. I look forward to working with it. It's obvious from talking to children, from looking at the work in the books and looking at the walls, uh, and the excitement of the teachers that they have discovered a way of teaching which I don't think I've ever seen in any other school and seems to me visionary and quite extraordinary. Chasing down the feet in this right and the sun in the heart of one, there's no flags to see.